Hi everyone. Welcome to Jabatiki. So let me ask you something. In today's AI driven world, especially after what we saw in 2025, layoffs are everywhere, scary headlines, and one question that just won't go away that is will AI replace developer job? Some people say backend development is dead. Some say AI will write complete application within a minute. and some even say learning java or spring boot in current year is a complete waste of time or useless so what's the truth today i am not here to motivate you i am not here even to hype you and i am definitely not here to scare you i am here to give you my honest answer based on what i have actually seen and experienced so far so yes ai will definitely replace some developers but not the one you think so if you are a developer or planning to become one there are few truth you must understand to stay relevant to the industry okay all right so let's talk about reality so in today's world if we want to design or build something what's the first thing we do we go to ai like chat gpt and simply type hey this is my use case can you create an end to end api for me and guess what within 2 minute the basic structure is ready if i am confused about any annotation or any code snippet i just ask can you explain this annotation or example to me and honestly the explanation is much cleaner than the official documentation even debugging has changed i paste the error payload and logs i gave everything to ai then ai give me a possible root cause and its fixes now think about how we used to do this earlier before ai we open the stack overflow then we open 10 tabs and we find out the relevant code snippet and we copy paste then usually we pray for it to work isn't it now since we have the ai we simply ask our doubt to ai like chat gpt and we get the response and we simply copy and paste that piece of code to our project and even few id already has integrated with ai agent who will generate the code on the fly in your id itself so getting fear about job security is genuine if ai can write code in 5 second then what exactly is my value or why would a company pay me a salary and you know what that's completely a valid question but here is the problem most people are asking the wrong question the real question is not will ai replace developers or not the real question is which developers will ai replace let me be very honest ai will replace those developers who only copy paste the code who only follow tutorials without any hands on example and whose entire job is to design crowd apis and who don't understand why something work or whatever the code they wrote what is the purpose of it then yes ai is already better than you because that job is not engineering it's mostly typing and ai type very fast but real back end engineering is much more than designing crowd api okay so let me show you where ai completely struggle or what ai cannot do and a developer can do that that's the reality you need to understand so first point decision making and trade offs imagine you are building an order system so you go to chat gpt and ask should i use kafka or rest ai will give you a nice textbook answer saying that kafka is scalable and good for high throughput where rest is simple and easy to maintain it's technically correct but it's not complete because ai does not know your expected traffic volume your infrastructure budget your cloud cost limit your team size and skill level your delivery deadline your manager my dancing these things to deliver within 2 days those things ai don't know then who decide what to use 
it's you the developer so a can give you the option a can explain pros and cons a can even generate sample code but only a developer can look at the real world constraints and make the right trade offs that decision making ability balancing performance cost scalability and timelines is something a simply cannot replace and that's why developer are still irreplaceable okay now let's move to the next reality that is production debugging imagine this it's 2 am and your phone rings with an incident call saying that you have a production outage so in that situation you cannot say hey chat gpt or ai please attend the incident call because ai has never faced a 2 am production outage he never debug a memory leak in a live system or he never fixed thread starvation under high load or even he never investigate db deadlock scenario or even he don't know how to coordinate with different teams like devops qa management business team ai don't know those things no doubt ai has knowledge but developers have battle experience so here we need developer not ai because that kind of judgment doesn't come from the training data it comes from real world pain and experience so when production is on fire you don't need ai you need a skilled developer in the war room that is what the reality a ai cannot replace a developer okay now let's move to the next important point that is context awareness this is where ai completely struggle for example let's say your manager comes to you and say hey client want a high performance chat feature within a week so you ask to the ai for suggestion and immediately ai like chat gpt or gemini ai they give the suggestion okay you want to design some chat application use this text stack use java 21 virtual thread reactive stack kafka kubernetes cloud auto scaling lot many things it looks perfect on pen and paper right but ai does not know your company is still using java 8 or half of your system is legacy which you don't want to touch budget is already exceeded your manager wants a demo tomorrow now tell me honestly can you implement what ai suggested within your deadline of course not this is where a real developer comes in so ai work in an ideal world developers work in a constrained world so that's why context awareness understanding the people system deadlines and limitation is something ai simply cannot replace so we need one experienced developer to take that challenges okay now let's move to the next important point that is architecture ownership assume for one of your use case ai suggest you let's build this using microservice architecture but what happen when latency increase in production network calls started failing cloud cost suddenly double or on call alerts keep firing at night who gets blamed not ai it's you and you are the developer because developer don't just design the system they own the architecture where ai just talk about it so we need developer here as well so these are some areas where ai cannot really help and this is why skilled developers are still needed so again my intention is not to scare you so if you are already working on the skill that ai cannot replace then nothing to worry you are on the safe side okay now let's talk about the right way to upskill in the ai era many developers are confused some people say learn python some people say started learning machine learning some people also mention leave backend and move to ai and also few people are saying learning framework like spring boot or any other is outdated nowadays honestly that creates unnecessary fear being a java developer i would say if you are a java developer your strength is huge you already know 
how to build a real production system using framework like Spring Boot. You already know how to design API, how to handle the transaction, how you can work with database, how you can secure the application, deploy and monitor the system. So instead of throwing all that away, you should upgrade it with AI. Use Spring Boot to integrate AI capabilities into your existing project. Build system that are smarter. They can understand text, image, data or different type of input. Make it more automated which will reduce manual work. And you can also make it more intelligent. They make better decision like a recommendation engine. Okay. So for Java developers, Spring Boot will remain the backbone of enterprise system. AI will simply become another powerful component inside it. Okay. Now, how should you actually use AI in your day-to-day -day work? Think of AI as an assistant that help you think faster. Think AI as a productivity booster that save your lot of time. Or you can also think AI as a junior developer who can generate the code quickly anytime without getting tired. But remember, AI can help you in real time, but still you must need to review every line of code as a developer. You need to focus on optimized performance. You need to handle security and compliance. You need to take the ownership of designing the architecture and you need to take the responsibility in production. Okay. AI can write the code in a second, no doubt on it, but it cannot understand your business, your risk or your users. Okay. So never compare AI with any language like Java or Python or never compare AI with framework. That comparison itself is wrong because the future developer is not someone who fights with AI. It's someone who know how to use AI smartly. So let me keep my word very clear. AI will not replace developers, but developers who refuse to evolve or enhance will be replaced. If you are willing to learn, adapt and take responsibilities, then this is actually the best time to be a pro developer. Okay. So now tell me in the comment section, do you see AI as a threat or an opportunity? So like the video if this helped you. Subscribe to the Java Tiki and I will see you in the next one.